So I know you guys were wondering why I'm still here, <laughs> why the old face is still here. So actually, I have another talk. So yeah, another talk. Uh, f uh, let me give you a brief introduction. I'm uh, actually the head of inf infrastructure team of Daras, and Daras is an e-commerce company. So uh, with the e-commerce infrastructure, we as a user, we are capable of uh, sharing with the community what is our actual user experience with the Alibaba Cloud. And the most importantly, for the usage, what we have done, uh, as the title mentioned, how the 10 developer DevOps team will be able to support the 2.5 billion concurrency in Jaras. This is uh, really, uh, I think, something I, we could proudly share with the community and, be, and uh, to have to enable yourself to support another maybe 25 million, 250 million. So here are some facts. Uh, actually, we supported 171 million tournament views. And during that, we have 2.5 billion max co-currency. And all these are using the cloud native development and cloud native of Alibaba Cloud. And frankly speaking, we only have 10 DevOps. I am one of the 10. So yeah, feel free to proud if you are you want. <laughs> so, uh, but this talk is not about me. This talk is about you. In the 20 minutes, uh, we I always ask myself this question: What can community get from us from this sharing? What can this valuable 20 minutes provide to you as a community member, as a cloud native user? So first, I will talk about the cloud function and then uh, the pain points of the Kubernetes. And finally, the key takeaway to re remind uh, this talk about the experience which you can reference to. So first is the integration with GitLab and the GitHub. We are a uh, GitHub fanatic company and uh, everybody loves Git uh, environment, right? So integration with Git is very important. That's why this is how we work. We have the GitHub with the Git action and then we push to container image of uh, the Alibaba Container Registry, and then we push to ACR. ACR has the uh, capability of scanning my image to make sure it's secure, and then we go to apply to the ACK with, via the ACK1. ACK1 provides you the capability of uh, deploying in different cloud platform, and in order to ensure the stability, we do employ different cloud platform in different regions and in different areas. And here's the pain points. As you can see, uh, lots of you, some are developers and uh, some are infrastructure people. What if we can merge them together? What if we can reduce the operation cost, which is the CTO cost, by cutting it half, by reducing the human capital of infrastructure and developer to become a full stack, including infrastructure and developers? And this is how we do it. Using the cloud function, Cloud Function has the capability of providing you an online web-based IDE. So you can just paste your code here. You can find your code here. And then you just click Deploy. In the backend, the Cloud Function, Function Compute will be able to pull up the Docker image. Doesn't matter if you're uh, Python, if you're Java, if you're Node.js, these are all supported we have templates for you in the backend. So the only thing you need to do is click deploy. And then there will be three environments, test, uh, test environment, uh, and uh, staging and uh, production. And with three environments, you'll be safely deploy everything via just one click. And then you don't even to need to buy the intelligent IDE, all this stuff. These are all can be integrated into the function computer web IDE. So I think this is really something. So our developers will become de developer, full stack, and DevOps. Everything he can cover via just one person. We are enabling your, you as a developer to become, be able to manage everything yourself. And we also are able, enabling the business owners to be able to reduce the operational cost to half, even more than half, and to make sure the profitability of your business. And then this is our uh, function compute capability. I just mentioned we are capable of supporting all these 
languages. How do we support all these languages via the whole, do, uh, the whole architecture? The whole architecture, including uh, Java, Spring, uh, ExpressJS, Django, Python, Flask, and also VUE. So everything you can imagine, we already exist. We, these things are not developed by ourselves. These things are integrated with the community. You are using more language, and then we are integrating more. So as a community, we grow together, we rise together, and we success together as a whole. So function computing is great, but what if it's not enough? When it will be not enough? What's the criteria to understand this? Uh, let's do an analogy. This is uh, what I usually do. So the analogy like traffic, traffic from network is similar to the traffic in real life. There are so many cars, there are so many new user requests, and there's no room for it. If you want to scale, there are always a downtime. What can we do? We, let's think about it. What if we can run a car, run a bus on the top of the level, the lower level? And this is what we use with the horizontal scaling. If we, the vertical scaling, scaling is not enough, then let's do horizontal scaling. And that is how the Kubernetes happened, right? So Kubernetes is a good thing uh, compared to com function compute when the scaling up uh, is not even enough for the function compute. So everybody use Kubernetes. What are the pain points and what can we resolve and what can we offer to ease the pain points of Kubernetes? So first, uh, we have three types of Kubernetes. First is dedicated and then managed and then serverless. Serverless is great. Serverless is always great, like function computer, it's always great. But when it's serverless, the time you pull up the new service, the new nodes, there's also a time. And that time very much dependent on your business growth. What if I can know my business growth ahead of time? I know I have a campaign. There will be 100 times user. I, so I can reduce that uh, lead time of serverless scaling up by scaling up one day or one hour ahead of time using the dedicated or managed. So this is a balance between serverless and the dedicated or managed service. When you want, uh, the, the, when you have the idea of how much it will grow, then use managed, use dedicated. When you have no idea how much it will grow and you don't care much about a little bit downtime, then go to serverless. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, we provide different kinds of uh, logging and ARMS. And here, we want to emphasize on ARMS. ARMS is a real-time uh, monitoring. And this enables you to understand how much traffic and how much more workloads you are having, and also the logs. This is we mentioned, ease logs of uh, shifting parts. The question, and uh, I just asked previously is, what if your container crashed and you, f you have no idea where to find the logs and to do QA, and the log system is valuable to you? But log system is not only valuable to dev developers, but also valuable to the uh, security people. If there's attackers, if there's a DDoS attack and you want to uh, block the IP address, you don't know where to see. The, going to the container and find the log area and find that file is so hard. However, what we provide is a log system which you can easily categorize and uh, pull up. You can just use a SQL language to group by the IP address. And then if you see millions of IP came up, from the same IP address, and uh, that's definitely highly likely to be an attacker, just block it. And this is the inspection, uh, which we just mentioned. Simple questions, uh, are they read-only? Can, uh, can attackers gain root access via your container? These questions are also keeping us awake in the night. What, how Alibaba Cloud can improve this? It is via the inspection. Inspection, uh, inspect your old YAML file and be capable of providing you the insights, valuable insights to help you telling you which are failing, which are the high risk. And most importantly, last year, we have the log4j attack, log4j vulnerabilities worldwide. And that we are covered in our uh, CVE auditing service. You just go to the platform, uh, click auditing, and then click on the 
CV vulnerabilities checking, and then you will be capable of understanding what are the vulnerabilities. And for example, if last year you have this on Kubernetes, on Alibaba Cloud, you will be understanding what are the applications that have the log4j vulnerability, and you will be capable of uh, adding firewall, add, adding anti-DDoS, adding whatever defensive mechanism you have. And finally, we are reaching the end of this session, and uh, I know it's a long time, and it is falling asleep because, you know, the language and the talking speed. So let's re-emphasize on this 20 minutes. What can we get from this 20 minutes? First, what are the criteria to change from, com from function compute to ACK, to Kubernetes? You remember uh, the criteria between serverless and managed server is if you have a prediction, have a good understanding of how big your traffic will be. And if that's 100 times, definitely you will choose to use the managed ACK because you have an idea and it will scale very fast. However, if you don't have any idea how much the traffic will grow, then please try to use uh, function compute. It will uh, reduce your cost by demand usage, on, uh, pay as you go, uh, use on demand. Second, Kubernetes is hard. We have so many problems. Uh, when the container crashed, uh, where can I find the logs? Well, uh, what if uh, my container has the security issues? What if how many of them has the log4j problem? So C Kubernetes is difficult to learn. But we want to be able to lower the barrier of learning via the cloud platform. So we provide everything to you to make your life easier. Also, if you have more questions, more, more issues you encounter, feel free to feedback to Alibaba Cloud. We will be capable of providing you more capabilities and features to make your life easier, make the community grow together as a one piece. And finally, what, we, or what our target is. What our target is just code and push and forget, and that's it. Trust everything for the rest of the of Alibaba Cloud platform. Just focus on the code, focus on the business logic, and focus on the business growth. And that's how we help you grow, how we help the developers grow, and how we help the business grow. This picture, I have a deep feeling on it. This kids and the environment is how I grew up. It was just uh, some walls, and we don't even have a chair, so we sit on a box. However, with the support of the cloud community, with the support of Alibaba Cloud, we are capable of now sharing how our 10 people be able to support the 2.5 million concurrency live stream users. Finally, thanks everybody for the, uh, listening and uh, hope you can take something back and uh, uh, most importantly, uh, grow as a whole, as a community. Thank you.